getting a camera set up here. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today I am getting ready for another delivery of little baby plants and these ones are not for hanging baskets. My first delivery was for hanging baskets. This delivery is for four inch material, premium annuals. Some of them are six pack material and flats. Um, these are all sorts of different plants. In fact, some of them are herbs and I have some help coming today. I'm expecting Ash and Spencer. There are a couple of helpers that have been a couple times in previous videos. They're coming today for a couple of hours. I have Ethan coming in at noon today to help. It is nine o'clock right now. I've been here about an hour and I will be here until nine o'clock tonight because I just have lots to do. Plus my daughter has something at the school. She's part of the stage crew for the musical. So she's gonna be working the musical until nine o'clock tonight. So I'll be here all day long and I will try to catch as much of that on video, definitely the unboxing. In today's unboxing, you'll be seeing some new varieties that I've never grown before. And then um, some varieties that are similar to what I'm growing for hanging basket. I also want to offer this year, I had some people loving a petunia that it was in a hanging basket, but they wanted it in their, in their ground or in their landscape or in a different pot that they had. So this year I tried to make sure that I had the same petunias, same calabrocoas that are in the hanging basket for four inch material. So that's what you're gonna be seeing today. I do have another large delivery about the same size as today's coming the first week in April. And those are some more faster growing things. I did make a mistake and I'll explain that more when I start unboxing. And it's just one plant in particular. Uh, we'll talk about that later on. In the meantime, I'm waiting for a phone call from the truck to say that they're close. I'm pinching the fuchsias in greenhouse number one and moving things around and just getting ready for this big delivery. Um, my delivery is here and I didn't get a, um, the phone call that they were on their way. Oh my gosh. Um, but it's here. I hope my helpers get here soon. That would be nice. Literally perfect timing, Ash. It's perfect timing. The truck's here. This is um, 18 more boxes of, of plantalones. Woohoo! Here they come. Woohoo! Babies are babies. <laughs> I, my babies cannot have this many babies or else they would be going so hungry. Many babies. <laughs> Here are, there were supposed to be 18 boxes, but there are 17 boxes because this box is combined. So I only have 17 boxes to unbox today. I say only, but that's a lot. But think I had 24 for the last unboxing. So it's not as big. And here's the problem guys, I'm blocking the coffee. Like I need a cup of coffee yesterday. So I'm gonna get a cup of coffee and we'll start unloading these babies. We're loading up the kaboot, taking it to Grandpa's greenhouse, doing the unboxing in there. It'll be bittersweet. Getting the camera set up here. Oh, yeah. Trying to figure it out. <laughs> okay. So we have Spencer and Asher here. We have all the new Jolly Farmer boxes back here. I decided to unbox them in here because number one, I don't have space anywhere else. And number two, it's just really cool to have plants inside the new greenhouse. So let's get this going. You know what I forgot? Guys, I forgot a box cutter. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. This is exciting. It's going to be hard to look. Okay. All right. Well, this was simple. <laughs> this entire box is actually just geranium. So let um, me look. Looks like they're all dark red. I ordered, uh, last year I ordered 300 dark red and it was not enough. I had to wholesale in hundreds more. So these are the Calliope large dark red geranium plugs. And I have 500 of these. Woohoo! One box. One box done. See how easy that is? Okay, so those were the red geraniums. And I, I guarantee you that there are more geraniums in here somewhere. Let's see. Who is this? I'm so excited. Me too. Did this say open other end? Whoops. Ah! Okay. <gasps> okay, so we have... These are dahlias for four inch pots. And this variety is called La Bella Medium Fun Rose Fun. Yes, it's fun times two. <laughs> fun, fun. And this is another dahlia. It's called Fun Raspberry. So we've got raspberry and fun, fun. 
Okay, right here I have, I have been really excited about this. I've actually never grown this before. This is Thumbergia and, uh, oh look, see how it's vining? So I have trellises to grow these in. I'm probably gonna do a trade gallon or a gallon pot with a trellis. I have three different colors of Thumbergia. This one's called Sunny Susie Red Orange and this is for my BFF Susie. Okay, so that doesn't look like I have the other Thumbergias in this box. So these are different plants. These are a different kind of geranium. These are called Ivy League Burgundy and Ivy League Bicolor. So these are uh, more geraniums, different type, different color. Get a lot of people who love geraniums. And you know where they're usually planted is the cemetery. A lot of people say that they do really well up at the cemetery. Who can ever really have enough German ivy? Can you? Uh, I don't no. think so. <laughs> Okay. I have my hands full of pansies. These are for pansy six pack sales. This is class mix watercolor and pro lavender blue shades. So two different colors of this. And here's a third pansy. And I wanted to get these because they're the huge, like two and a half inch, three inch blooms that everyone is looking for. This one is the pro rose with blotch. Oh my gosh, these are the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so usually when I get petunias in, they're much larger than this, but I had to order the smaller petunias. These are in like a 500 plug tray, and these are for the Wave Petunia packs. So by the time they're ready for sale, they will be filling out the pack, and they will be fantastic. So the Wave Handle Packs, and this is how it starts out. This color actually is yellow. Oh, oh, we have some cold, yes, and another Thumbergia. This Thumbergia is called Pink Beauty. I'm excited to see the pinks. That's for you. And this one, eek! I love coleus, you guys know that. This one's called Main Street Venice Boulevard. So this coleus is fantastic. And the last thing in this box is a sweet potato vine. This is the Flora Black, Flora Mia Black sweet potato vine. Uh, super popular. The first trays that I have of these we're using in patio pots. This will be for four inch pots. Henry packed this box. Nice job, Henry. Okay, so this is a begonia. It's called Nightlife. And this is another 500 tray. And these are also for six packs. If I turn it around, you'll see how small the cells are. They're very tiny for six packs. Who is next? We have another begonia. This one's called whiskey. Another begonia for six packs. I did not do small six packs of begonias last year and it was a huge request from customers. And that brings me to my mistake. Mistake! This tray was an error, but that's okay because um, I can fix it. So these are actually marigolds and it's about two weeks too early for me to have brought in marigolds. So I'm just not gonna plant them right away and they'll be able to stay small. And then when I should be planting them, I'll plant them up and they'll be fantastic. This one's called Inca to Gold. This one is called White, White Swan. And this one is, I guess, very popular. I have my friends at North Street Nursery and Pulaski say this is a very popular variety for them. We'll see how it does here in Boneville. Look at the two-tone leaves on this baby. Isn't that They're great? So this is actually a dragon wing begonia. These were popular last year. I did some in baskets, some in four-inch pots. I'm not gonna do any in baskets this year. I'm just gonna do the four-inch pots. Dragon wing. <laughs> Sorry, this. Like, I have dad who looks up the mods in his butt there. It's great, right? Yes. Here we have another dragon wing begonia tray, and this is dragon wing white. This one's called super cool red begonia, and this is for six packs. It's another one with tiny, tiny cells. I'm here. It is indeed. Woo! I don't know how this happened, but there's another tray of marigolds. <laughs> this one's called um, Inca to deep orange. Gotta have all the colors. Oh my goodness. I couldn't have so enough marigolds last year, honestly. Yeah, people are into marigolds. It was, here. people were walking out with like trays of them and I only grew 10 trays of them. So I ended up having to bring some in wholesale last year. I don't wanna have to do that this year. I wanna be able to grow everything that I sell. 
Lizmakia. This is that carrot, which is, it's a K-A-R-A-T. It is an amazing chartreuse color. Mm. Vining, viner. Whoa. Yeah, actually this, a lot of these look like vines. Okay, so we have the Vinca variegated vine for four inch pots. Hugely popular, sold out, couldn't get enough, loved them. And then we have the green Vinca, which is slightly darker in color, still popular. I didn't have the plain green last year, so we'll see how it goes. I had some requests for it. For four inch pots, we have a double impatient color white. And for four inch pots, we have a verbena called Vanessa white. Oh my gosh. This is in bloom. even possible it's two inches tall it's called blazing star it's definitely blazing wait hold on and so is ring of fire they are it's living up to their names i guess ring of fire <laughs> oh i am so excited about these okay so this middle tray i am excited about but not as excited about the other tray. this is sunfinity this is the sunflower that grows beautifully. I have to pinch it a million times for it to take its shape. I don't know that for personal experience, only from what my friends tell me. This is awesome, but what's even more awesome are the trays that are in that box. So you may have this. Oh, wow, Ash. I like it. Look at this baby. I'm super pumped about these. Wow, these are so pretty. So we have some succulents, lots of beauty. We have uh, Echeveria and another Echeveria called, Echeveria called Black Prince. That's gorgeous. I've got some that were decapitated during shipment, but the majority of them are beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yes, if, if someone's listening and not paying attention, then they'll probably whip their head around when I said decapitated babies. <laughs> That's so dangerous. Three more trays of some gorgeous, gorgeous Cavalia. I don't know how to say it. I just need to figure it out. It sounds right. I love this. It's so fun. Like, look at the texture of the leaves. So different. What's it called? It is Gazania. Gazania. Gaziania. Gaza. Gazania. And this variety is called New Day Mix Tiger. <laughs> no! Chamomile! What? You can make some tea. Oh, it smells good. We have some German chamomile. Watch me have a reaction. Really? Sometimes I, I have like. You get your face in. I put my face in things and then I start itching. I'm like, oh no. Oh no. Chamomile. And here is, I don't know how this happened, but this is another tray of Gazani, Gazania. I'm gonna Google it. When in doubt, ask Gazania, Google. Gazania, Google it. Gazania. 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 Okay, I feel better. You said it. You I said it right. You had it. It's within you. We have some more of the sweet potato vine called Flora Mia Black. The green sweet potato vine, which is called a Marguerite, which, ironically, was my great grandmother's name. Marguerite, an archangelo. We have another gorgeous tray of coleus. This is a variety that I got last time too. It's called Glassworks Kiwi Fern. Gorgeous. We're gonna take an intermission because one of my helpers needs to quench his thirst. <laughs> oh yes, we've got more geranium. We have multiple different colors here. We have a tray of white, a tray of lavender. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. And another tray of lavender. So there's three trays of geranium. Geronimo! <laughs> Why? Why? I don't know. Why? 
All right, we have another tray of white geraniums. We have a tray of one called Darko Blue. And I don't remember that, but it kind of looks purple. There's actually a bud. And then we have, oh God, my finger got stuck. Sorry. It's okay. Another tray of um, geranium. This one's called Ivy League Arctic Red. And the rest of the babies in this box are uh, begonias. So I have two trays of a variety called Brit Dark. I'm not 100% certain. I'll put a picture on the screen like always, but I think this is orange, which is really cool. I love orange flowers. Never enough. I actually have that Calabracoa that I unboxed in the last video called Pumpkin Spice. It's actually filling out in the, in the basket. It's so gorgeous. You just can't get enough. I love it. Okay, and then we have Glory Bicolor Begone. We have Carnival Begone. And then I have two trays of roadie pink. I'm obsessed with this one. It's honestly gorgeous. I can't wait to see this in bloom. No blooms yet, but. Okay. Thank you. Who is it? Man, so much cardboard. I know. We have a couple more trays of marigold. We have Durango Red. Oh, it smells so good. Ash, it's marigold. You gotta smell. Mm, I love these. Babies. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's fresh yes. spring. And this one's Durango Flame. And then, oops, another one called Bonanza Bee. That's fun. I don't know how this happened. There's another tray of marigolds. Like I said, all of the marigolds on this order, that was a mistake. <laughs> this is the cutest thing. I've actually never grown this. This is Portulaca, the moss roses. Oh, yeah. Look how cool of a carpet Whoa. that looks. Oh, my God, so crazy. Portulaca, I didn't grow last year. I ordered them in. I didn't order them in. I went to a place in Syracuse and got six packs, like, Look at these little babies. Isn't that the cutest little thing? So these are for six packs of uh, Portulaca moss roses. All right. This is another Easy Wave Petunia for handle packs. This is Easy Wave Blue. You're really slowing me down over here. <laughs> is this for real? Is this real life? Is this another tray of marigolds? Yes. Durango yellow. I calculated it. I have enough marigolds in today's shipment for 177 flats what are of you, marigolds. What are you, you're gonna just get some marigold sales. Oh, I love these. This is Verbena and it is the color Red Star. I love this one. It's red with like white stripes. It's really pretty. This is a different kind of geranium. I believe it's a scented geranium, and this one's called Aroma Bunny Brunch. I have no memory of placing this order. <laughs> no memory. And then while he's here, this is the um, Gold Chili Hadera, which is like a variegated vine. It's really cool looking. I like. Me likey. Whoa. Okay, we have a couple more coleus to un just unbox. This one's called New York City Nights, and it's a darker one with green specks, and this one's just a chartreuse one. This is the Main Street, Charles Street. This is the one I grew last year that was really popular. Pop you, the, everything's popular. You haven't gotten any of the unpopular plants? No, there's no unpopular plants. I took those off the list. Yeah. We deleted them. Checks out, checks out. So this is another tray of Sunfinity Sunflower mm -hmm. and another tray of Marguerite Sweet Potato Vine. <laughs> this entire side of this box is Easy Wave Petunias. So I'm going to let Spencer take the box all the way back, but I will show you one tray. And again, these are 500 cell trays. They're extremely tiny and they do take, you know, a good six weeks from this size to be a sellable six pack. Here is another coleus, and um, this one's called Main Street Alligator Alley. This one did really well last year. 
as well. So um, I forgot to tell you, Spencer, will you shout out the colors on those trays as you're unboxing them? Yeah. Good catch. So we got wave red. Wave red. Wave coral. Coral? Coral, yeah. Coral? I don't even remember ordering coral. Well, you got one. Yes. Uh, that's cool. Who else? And you got uh, pink. Pink, a weave Coral pink. Wave. Plum vein, so I guess that's Plum cool. vein, that's exciting. And then, lastly, uh, white. White. Hi, Dad. So my dad, my brother, and Aiden just showed up to do some more electric work in here, so they're gonna be working while we're working. Oh my gosh! Look how cool this one is. It looks like something you put in a fish tank. Yeah. Okay, this is called Hobbit. I love hobbits. It's a Frodo. Yeah, we're gonna call it Frodo. Very different. <laughs> There's that cutie. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, it does look like Dead Man's Fingered Mushroom. This one, we have more geraniums. These are regal geraniums. This one's called Elegance Burgundy, and this one's called Royalty White. I love the smell of, of geraniums. Ooh, this is the last tray of the Thumbergia that I'm unboxing today. This is the, what color is it? Let me see. It's lemon, so it's a nice pale yellow color. I'm so excited about these. Also something that people requested last year that I just didn't have. I have been waiting to see this. This one's string of bananas because it looks like a string of bananas. Who is this? Oh. These are Cleomes. I grew some of these last year. I'm growing them in smaller pots this year. People like these because they're deer resistant. They grow and they actually have thorns on them. So the deer are less resistant to, or they're deer resistant because the deer don't want to eat the thorns. I think they might stink too. But don't quote me. They're great. They keep going all year. Oh yeah. Oh wow. This is some more of that Hadera. A couple different varieties. This one's called Needlepoint and this one's called Yellow Ripple for obvious reasons. Oh my gosh, another Hadera. I don't even have any memories of this. This one's called Teardrop. I'm guessing because the leaves are like perfect teardrops. Really pretty. Something that customers wanted more of last year was greenery to put with their colorful flowers in their planters at home. So I wanted to make sure that I had more greenery this year than last. Oh my gosh. They all want to come to the party. Woo. Okay, so these are all large, dark red Calliope geraniums. <laughs> Another Hadera. This one's called Glacier Ice. I think this is my favorite one. I definitely think this one's my favorite. Mandevilla. This was on my list this year after more requests. Two different colors of Mandevilla. We have white. Nope, just kidding. They're both white. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, here's the rest of the Mandevilla. Down here we have light pink. regular pink and red so we have three more colors so that makes four colors of mandevillas oh my you're kidding me there's another tray of marigolds in here no. uh, how is this even possible believe it or not we have more marigolds this one's called superhero and then we have a whole bunch of other things in here there are a whole bunch of geraniums more pansies let's get that pan Wait, where were you? I was busy, all right? I got other things on my plate. <laughs> we have uh, Cats Plus Mix Pansies. <gasps> we have three more trays of pansies. This is the spreading varieties. We have Cool Wave Mix, we have Cool Wave Morpho, and then another Cool Wave mix. So these are a variety of colors. You can see they're starting to bloom. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Elegance Geranium. We have a couple little pink little blooms right there. And this one is called Imperial and Lemona. Two more trays of geraniums. This is Ivy League Red. That is 
cool. Yeah, that is a cool looking one. Okay, this is really cool. This is called Coral Reef. Quite large. And then this is a begonia, and it is called Esme Peach. Hmm, that sounds beautiful. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Check this out. The little dolphin. I think the cutest thing. What are they called? String of dolphins. They're, they literally look like dolphins swinging. Swinging. You know, they swimming, swing. Yeah. You know how they do swimming. dolphins? <laughs> they, love, they love like the park. That. They love that. They just love the park. String of dolphins. I'm gonna have to get a close up shot of these because it literally looks like there's dolphins like swimming. I said swinging earlier like they're at the park, but I meant swimming. This one's called Crassula. It's very crass. A duplicate of one of the ones that I got earlier. This one's called Stained Glass Fireworks. I love it. I'm just kidding. It's called Stained Glass Royalty. Couple coleus. We've got downtown Santa Monica and Main Street something. I can't read. Abbey Road. How can I forget? Excitement over an orange geranium. I'm excited about that. And this one is Stained Glass Velvet. A wall of geraniums for you. They're very popular around here. We have Salmon. Mega Splash, and another tray of Lavender Mega Splash. Pretty big deal day around here. Oh my gosh, yeah. all the activities. Moving, I'm gonna get a little clip of my brother. <laughs> I can't even stand you. Run and wire, run and wire for my, my half fans so we can get some air moving in here. Italian That's oregano. Nice. Put it on your face. Oh yeah, yeah. That's it's good right. stuff. Main Street, Wall Street. Whoop. Rodeo Drive, Coleus. Two different kinds of lamium. So this one's called Nancy, and this one is called Variegatum, because it's variegated. Why did I go into um, Voldemort? <laughs> I went into Voldemort voice. Very good. Okay, we have Estrella Verbena Merlot and La Bella. Oh, these are dahlias. La Bella Golden Eye Dahlia. Basically, they're cuttings, so there's no tuber involved here. We have Estrella Blueberry and Estrella Cosmic. Purple. I've actually got some purples. Oh, you cannot be saying Estrella. Estrella? No, it's not. Yeah. Mm. Right here, this one. Is. Where is it? Estrella. It's Estrella. Mm. You've got to say Estrella. Oh my god, I didn't even think about You've that. You've got to say Estrella. It's star. I didn't even think about that. That's it. That's Estrella. I've just been informed that I've been saying this wrong the entire time. Thank you, Ash. So, in what? Spanish? Yes. In star. Spanish, estrella means star, which makes so much sense to me. Ding, estrella. Ding, 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 ding. I love that. Thank you. you. Yeah, you can't okay, so this whole time, verbena, this variety is estrella blueberry. Estrella. Oh, so beautiful, it. right? You can't miss your chance to say that. I never even thought about it. What it is, it's star. Beautiful. Thank you. That's awesome. We have another lamium. This one is called Orchid Frost. This is the one that I have in hanging baskets in number three in one of the combos. And then we have some Calibrocoas. Atomic Orange and Cherry Blossom. A couple more. Blueberry Scones. Again, I was worried I didn't have enough baskets. Some more vining plants. We have uh, the beautiful green Lismachia. Another variety of Calabrocoa, this is a new one. I think it's exclusive to Jolly Farmer. It's called Caramel or Caramel, depending on how you like to say it. Gorgeous, different. It's got kind of like the feeling of a blueberry scone that has faded different colors in it. I'm really looking forward to seeing this in baskets. I am gonna plant a couple baskets with this. Italian or something. Angelonia, this is the Serena mix. We're almost done, Dad. 
Oh, they're Cosmos, that's why. I thought it was another tray of marigolds. <laughs> no, it's Cosmos. So that's a good thing. Oh yes. This is actually another oregano called hot and spicy. Hot and spicy. Hot and spicy, right? Hot and spicy. That's wow. what I want. Ooh, the osteospermum. Osteospermum. This one is an Ach Achillea mix. <laughs> Maybe Aquila, Aquila, A K I L A. Achillea. Achillea. <laughs> and then this one is sun Sunset Shades. Very excited. Oh, this is exciting. This is actually a variegated oregano. I've been wanting to have this one to offer for a while. Check this one out, Ash. Variegated oregano? Isn't that insane? Wow. I am excited. Yeah. Another Calibrica called Cherry Blossom, which I have opened several of. And this is the, I think the final Lamium that I have. And this one's called and Greenway. It actually has some yellow variegation in it. Um, I can see it growing into its yellow variegation. Remember when I ran with scissors the wrong way? Oh. Don't tell my dad. Seriously, I think your dad should know this. Yeah, that was. I ran with scissors earlier, and instead of she doing it like the good I'm way, ready. I was like, I'm running with scissors. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still disappointed in you, Paula. I'm alive. I'm alive. I apologize. I've never seen anybody. <laughs> like, I'm doing it safely, though. It was far it's away from me. <laughs> Listen, you know why I didn't know that? I never ran with scissors as a kid, so nobody oh, ever had yeah, to tell me got, this is the right way to do it. I was like an angel. This. Okay, so oh, yeah. I had sunglasses on. I had eye protective wear. <laughs> this whole box is geranium, so I'm going to keep these in the box, but I'm going to yell out the, the varieties. We've got salmon, large pink, and campfire. That's cool. I don't remember that one. And then some more large dark reds. So you can take this whole box. Don't take my scissors. Uh, I'm <laughs> I don't think you can be trusted with them. I cannot be trusted. Ooh. Apparently, I was concerned about my marigold stash um, because this is another tray of marigolds. This one is called Fireball. It actually smells like the most potent out of all of them. I'm really getting a deliciousness from it. Oh, what is it? Let me see. Oh, well, that's cool. That one's fun. Spencer just found this tray of, well, no wonder, because I was like, I've never heard of campfire <laughs> geraniums. It's not a geranium. This is one of those um, crastulas. So this one's called Campfire Crestula. I can see how it got its name because it it looks like, you know, a traditional image of a campfire with the rolling flames. So it's kind of cool. This is um, a lot of begonias in this box. This is mango. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous one. They're all gorgeous, but this one's gorgeous. Two more trays of begonias. We've got rose and hot orange. Hot orange is new for me this year. Actually, there's some some color in the tray already. We have string of pearls. Gorgeous, really excited about those. And then we have some more Cool Wave pansies. They only had some half trays, so I told I told Ash, my, um, Asha, actually my, my rep's name is Asha from Jolly Farmer. Nice. So I told her just throw it on my order. So this is a Cool Wave mix berries and cream. These are a couple trays of double impatience for four inch pots. We have the lavender and the electric purple. So the same colors that I'm growing in the baskets, but these are for the four inch pots. A couple more trays, we've got red and pink. Oh, wow, I really love that. This is another pansy tray. It's the Cool Waves spreading ones and it's called raspberry. Wow, that's gorgeous. Tray, I mean, final box. Oh, I saved the best for last. I'm not kidding. These are so popular, I'm really excited. So we've got the Fragrant Falls Peach Begonia that I sold out of so fast this year, so I, last year, so I doubled my order. Um, there's no flowers on it yet, but we've got those two. And then we have one called Sweet Spice Apple Blossom. And then we have, so these are all begonias, guys. We have Carmen Red. We have another Fragrant Falls Peach. 
We have a Selenia yellow. We've got more <laughs> Fragrant Falls yellow. We've got somehow a tray of geraniums got stuck in there with the begonias. This is a uh, Calliope large white. And the final three trays that I have in this unboxing are begonias and one is called Blitz and two is called Blitz and three is called Boreas. And that was a very, very warm unboxing. It is hot in here. So we're really looking forward to them getting the exhaust fans moving so we can replenish these fans are supposed to replace the air in the house in 60 seconds or less. So I'm really looking forward to getting these up and running, get some fresh air in here. Um, to give you an idea, I would say it's probably like 87 degrees with maybe a 77% humidity. That's my guess. That's my scientific guess. Spencer's dropping trays behind me. I gotta go and help him out, guys. I gotta help him. Yay! Yay! Can you sing the Wonka song? <laughs> just kidding. I'm <laughs> just kidding. How dare you? World of pure imagination. <laughs> I love you. Isn't that nice? I love you. Say, so see you soon. I love you. <laughs> you know that I do say that when I leave the greenhouses. I, I tell them, I love you, good night, see you in the morning. I'll be back. Mm hmm. Okay, we've got all of these now have to be potted up. I've got people coming to help me out with this. Guys, this is so exciting. This is, you know, the first trays in Grandpa's greenhouse and it's bittersweet because I'd give anything to have them here. It's actually really emotional and I don't want to talk about it. So, okay, it's okay. Look at this team I got here. It's great. So thanks for sticking around guys and uh, we'll be potting these up soon. So we'll see you then. Bringing some water back to the guys. It is really hot back there. Holy. I could kill someone with ice with these. Okay, it's just the way the sun's hitting me. My eyes are different colors depending on the lighting. I know you guys have noticed, like, if I'm in the shadows, they get um, a little bit darker. But anyway, we are icicling it up. My dad got stuck in the mud. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not giggling. So hopefully this works. There she goes. not as strong as everyone like, warns me. It's going to be sucking people in. It's actually quite a nice little breeze. Dad is still here working on the fans. Got one of the front ones going. We just need to get the exhaust going, but check it out. I'm bringing back the baskets that we're going to be hanging in here. We still need to get a few more rows of drippers up, but we've got three rows and then Everything else can hang out on the floor until we're ready to hang them. I am making probably 50 trips <laughs> with the Kubota with them all in the back. I can fit 16 at a time. And then I gotta get the hose, I gotta water. We've got so much sun and heat today. Things are drying out quickly.